Alright, in this video, I will discuss about these trigonometry questions. And this trigonometry is for the M uh, additional mathematics, which I call it MF. Alright, yeah, actually one of the students actually asked me this question in my Facebook, and then he mentioned actually it's a hot question, so I decided to make a short video for these questions. Alright, so, okay, first, the question asks you to prove that sine 2x over 2 sine x minus tangent square x plus second square x minus 1 or equals to cos x. Alright, this equation itself might seem very hard, but in fact, actually, it is very easy if you know about the formula. Alright, so so let's have a look at some formula before I start to do this one. First, of course, you have to know about the, the formula for, uh, for sine 2x. Okay, so first thing, formula for sine 2x will be 2 sine x cos x. Alright, and then you will see tangent square and second square, something like this. So, you, oh, of course, you also need to know their formula too. So, for tangent square x plus 1, you basically, you will get second square x. Alright, these two formula is going to be used in the identity, identity part, mean the proving section. So, I, I will do some substitution, but before I substitution, actually, I see something here, which is tangent square x, a second square x minus tangent square over here. So I'm trying to do, move my tangent square to the other side. So basically, I will get 1 equals to second square x minus tangent square x, which is exactly what I have over here. So from here, I know the whole thing over here is actually equals to 1 because second square x minus tangent square equals to 1 based on this formula. Then I will do some substitution uh, over there. So yeah, so let's have a look here. So let's say I say sine. 2x sine 2x over 2 sine x minus tangent square x plus second square x minus 1. So at the end, I must get cos x, isn't it? So sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. It's just a formula over 2 sine x. And then the whole thing over here will become positive 1 minus 1. All right, then 2 sine x and 2 sine x I will simplify. I will left cos x. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So, proven. Just like this. So, you just need to understand about the formula. You don't change the things into two complicators. Because this one maybe is just 2 to 3 marks questions. Alright. Then after you get this one, then the second part, the question basically asks you to sketch. So, yeah. In order to sketch, I, I will actually erase all this because it's not going to use it. But I will leave it. I will leave this one here. Because I might need to use it later. Oops. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, if I want to sketch the cost graph, it's quite simple. So, so cost graph will look like this. And then 0 to 2 pi, here will be 2 pi. Here is half, so it will be pi. And pi, I will be negative 1. This is 1. And... Yeah, this is 1 also. And then this one is uh, 1.5 pi, which is 3 over 2 pi. And then this is 0 0.5 pi, which is pi over 2. Or you can say 1 over 2 pi. It's the same thing. This one definitely is x, and this one is y. Then this is the second part, 1. So the question asks me to sketch the graph for cos, cos x. Of course, I will label. I will say y equals to cos x. Okay. Then for the second part, yeah, I think this one, some students might think is quite confused. Yeah, so for the second part, hangs using the same axis, draw a suitable straight line to find the number of solutions. Number of solution means how many intersection points between the straight line and the curve, and the curve here. Alright, and then you have this equation, yeah, to this equation. So basically, I will need to solve this equation. So I will move this equation, come down here. Okay, first, you will find out what is sine 2x over 2 sine x. Because we just solved it in the part one, which is this one. Sin 2x over 2 sin x actually will get cos x because this is just plus 1 minus 1 here is here automatic will become 0 so the whole thing here actually will give me cos x isn't it because this is 2 sin x cos x you simplify your left cos x so over here this one I'm going to call it 2 cos x equals to pi uh, x over pi minus 1 however in order 
in order to substitute, in order to make the straight line must be y equals to mx plus c. And I know my cos x actually equals to my y. So over here, basically, I will get 2y equals to x over pi minus 1. And I will move, I will divide 2 for every single one. So I will get x equals, uh, y equals to x over 2 pi minus 1 over 2. Okay, this one will be my equation of the straight line. Okay, this one will be my equation of straight line. Alright, in order to like sketch the straight line into my my curve here, I mean in the same axis, I will, I will basically give it 2 to 3 coordinates. I mean I will draw the table by myself, which is x and y. So the first thing is I, I will try to make x equal to 0. So when x equals 0, you substitute 0 into this equation. 0 over 2 pi is 0, minus negative, uh, uh, minus half, so y will be negative half. Then I want to know 0 is at negative half, is somewhere there. So I want to know until 2 pi, what is the value. So I will substitute 2 pi into x. So you just imagine x become 2 pi. 2 pi over 2 pi is 1. Alright, 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1. 1 minus half is positive half. So I have these two coordinates, then I will just plot into the into the same diagram, 0, negative half. So negative half is somewhere here, negative half. And 2 pi, 2 pi is over here, you will get positive half, so it will be somewhere here. Right, so it, it will be somewhere here, which is half. Then you just sketch the graph. I, I, I mean, just use your ruler. Of course, here I do not have any ruler. So you just use your ruler, connect this one to this one. And then you find a number of intersection because this is what they want, number of solution. So it will be one intersection, two intersection. So in this part, I can easily get my answer by saying there is two number of solution. Or you can say number of solution equals to two. Two number of solution. Okay. Or some students prefer like number, this is all, uh, means you do I, either one, number of solution equals to 2. Yeah, you can do both ways. I think as long as you have a 2 there, yeah, you should get the full mark for this one. I think the like total question is like 5 to 6 mark only. Yeah, this one actually is not too difficult. Just a lot of students might trying to change the tangent into the sine square over cos square and second become 1 over cos square and make the whole equation like a lot more complicated. So yeah, just always use the easiest way to solve MF, especially in this topic. Anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy this video. Anyway, if you have any comment, just post below on my YouTube or in my Facebook. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.